Go. I am Chris the Entertainment Man Visco and welcome to another episode of the Entertainment Man Talk Show. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Today we we're supposed to. I was going to talk. I was trying to talk to the, team, the president of the Canadian Automotive Museum, but never got a response. So now Plan B is in effect. We're out here in Memorial Park, which eventually we want to do a piece on Memorial Park because it's home to the Christmas tree lighting ceremony, Remembrance Day, and probably all kinds of other things. I want to do a piece about that later on. Probably in the, over the summer, we're going to do a small piece about that, or we may put it into a later show. Uh, we never know what's going to happen. I think it's in the parks episode we're going to do later on. Um, the main honorable of mission is uh, it's a pain story about automotive industry, how they, like uh, how they make cars and all that. Uh, the origin when it started, development and uh, plans for the future with cars as well. And the important part of uh, the automotive industry has played in our uh, economy for uh, Canada. So. Um, they want to show off some cars and all that, motor parts, development of engineering skills. Uh, it's also it's educational for the schools, colleges, and much more throughout the uh, education of Canada. Uh, also, it is designed of craftsmanship in building the uh, cars. the present time today, here in 2010. Uh, the museum was opened in uh, 1961 by a bunch of businessmen that widely decided to open that museum over there. And uh, it's grown in size over the uh, course of the years, 61 years, uh, 1961, let me check. I'm going to get my uh, calculator out. Yeah, Missy's laughing at me for the, dumb, for the lame jokes I'm making. 1961. Next year is going to be 50 years. 50 years since that museum opened. That's amazing. That's awesomely amazing. 50 years. That's what it says in my calculator. So, that's going to be looking... I'm going to look forward to that. Uh, I want to go on a weekend and uh, during their 50th anniversary next year to help celebrate them and all that. Uh, they have all kinds of different things in their collections from art, uh, that are artifacts now, from motorcycles, bicycles, trucks, pianos, washing machines, and much more. And then, of course, cars, which is the big thing here in Oshawa. This is the automotive uh, town in Ontario, here in Durham region. It's famous for our cars because we have GM plant right here in Oshawa. It's awesome to have a rental. So we're big for the um, uh, GM here, which was founded by um, Daniel McLaughlin and Robert McLaughlin, one of the two McLaughlin. McLaughlin is the one that started it, uh, the car company uh, GM. Reggie was called McLaughlin Company. Okay, let me look. I don't know if Missy remembers what the name of it was. Her and I went in there last year. Um, blah, 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 where is it? McLaughlin Buick Sport Coupe. So it's sort of like a Rolls Royce kind of uh, thing. And it says, let me know when it's up to nine minutes. Okay. Um, so yeah, McLaughlin actually had their own car. And after McLaughlin, went to General Motors of Canada and now that's where they are and they're still going to this day despite the economic uh, downfall with the um, the economy was uh, not doing very well in the last little while so but now they're back
back up. Uh, they closed a few plants. The truck plant, I think, is closed down in the south. Um, she's actually near the Diamonds, which is near Ice Force, where Missy and I will be playing baseball this summer for the Oshawa tournament on July 10th. So it's nearby there. It's to the east off of. What's the name of that street? Boundary? Or is it Oxford? Oxford or Boundary, something like that. Because you go around it. But you can know when I'm standing there coming back or from my uh, workers, I can see always see the trucks coming in and out. And uh, there's a lot of factories around there besides GM as well. But let's get back to our topic. Um, there, of course, the uh, uh, automobile is the platform bone of the collection here, which is cars. There's, I think, uh, I'll get to the number of cars. Oh, here we go. There is 60, currently there is 65 cars in that museum over there. 65 cars. I wouldn't believe it. Just kept going and going and going like the energy, energized, uh, bunny. Uh, bunny, yeah, thank you. Um, there's other companies such as uh, Brookstein, Redpath, Tud Hope, McKay, Gulf Gas Electric, Gray Dort, Rockford Atlas, CCM, and there's more name, well-known uh, vehicles that are actually in there. And we, of course, have many vehicles from other countries such as Rolls Royce, Morris, Africar, Af, Af, Rins, Boss, sorry, Real, and uh, much more cars. You gotta go check it out. It's really awesome. Um, of course, standing here in Memorial Park, this is actually another location we want to do in the future. Let's see them turn them something around. I'll show you one thing. I'll do it now. Remembrance. Remembrance Day uh, celebration on November 11th. We always wear a poppy uh, up here, up yes. at, around the heart. Always has a memorial plaque. It actually has been the, uh, designed and it's now there. Back up. So we turn back around. Doing the old switcheroo today. I've got about eight minutes, so we're going to take a quick break and we'll read back under these uh, messages.